Why not explore Krunya? Krunya Krunya is in a near-Earth orbit. Technically, a horseshoe orbit, because it orbits the Sun so close to Earth's orbit that it almost, but never, passes us. When visible, which is rare, it appears to move in a horseshoe pattern. HTTPS colon slash slash en dot wikipedia dot org slash wiki slash 3753 underscore Krunya. Horseshoe orbit of Krunya from the perspective of Earth. GIF source. It also crosses the orbits of Mars and Venus and even Mercury. Why, if it is so close and so large, over a mile and a half, haven't we tried to probe this small world? 3,753 Krunth ranks as target number 16,832 in JPL's list of near-Earth asteroids that might be worth visiting, someday. With 16,381 better targets, that someday most likely will be a long time from now, if ever. The problems with getting to Krunth are twofold. One issue is that its orbit is rather eccentric, 0.51485. Changing an orbit's shape is an expensive operation in terms of Delta V. The other issue is that its orbit is quite inclined with respect to the Earth's orbit about the Sun, by about 19.8 degrees. Plane changes are also extremely expensive in terms of Delta V. The combination of the two issues would make a Krunth rendezvous cost more than twice as much in terms of Delta V as would a moon landing or a Mars rendezvous. It would be cheaper to send a lander to Ceres than it would be to rendezvous with Krunth. 